And right. And, and as you show in the film, The Yes Men Fix the World, when you had that uh, offer from the BBC to come and play, to be a Dow spokesman on Bhopal, you guys jumped at it because they said <clears throat> there'd be an audience of 300 million, potential audience of 300 million people. Yeah. And you yeah. guys said, whoa, <clears throat> we got to go for this. Yeah, well, that's, uh, it's a situation where we'd gotten a, you know, this invitation from the BBC to appear as Dow Chemical. They thought that we were Dow Chemical, and they asked us to appear on the 20th anniversary of the Bhopal catastrophe. And mm -hmm. it was hard to believe that it was a real request because it just didn't seem possible. But we responded and said, of course, we'll do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, it turned out to be real. And so then, you know, when the, when the cameras went live in this tiny little studio in Paris, um, it went out to the, you know, the world. Joining us live from Paris now is Jude Finisterra. He's a spokesman for Dow Chemicals, which took over Union Carbide. Uh, good morning to you. Um, a day of commemoration in Bhopal. Do you now accept uh, responsibility for what happened? Steve, yes. T today is a great day for all of us at Dow, and I think for millions of people around the world as well. It's 20 years since the disaster and today I'm very very happy to announce that for the first time Dow is accepting full responsibility for the Bhopal catastrophe. Yeah it can have an impact in terms of it can have reach you know it can I mean especially if you have the might of the BBC world television news behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>